What is heaven? Someone asks you, what is heaven? How would you answer that? Well, it's the place that we go when we die. Well, the heaven is God's abode, where God is. It is also the eternal home for the believers in Christ. Heaven is our final destination that God has prepared for us. It is the counterpart of hell. God has designed heaven and he built it, the Bible says. It is the kingdom where God is king and we, the children of God, the citizens therein. And heaven will reign with Christ for eternity. Of course, there will be angels with us as well. So the next question is, who enters heaven? Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Again, I'm just reading, repeating what the Bible says. Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Only those who are born again. Nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood will enter heaven. Now, here's the list of the things that we will see in heaven. Are you interested in? What are we going to see in heaven? The first one is the tree of life that bears 12 kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month, and its leaves will heal the nations. Next, we'll have the new, uh, new Jerusalem, the holy city that is made of precious stones. Its foundations and walls are all made of precious stones and whose streets are made of pure gold. It will have 12 gates, and there will be the river of the river and water of life that flows from the throne of God through the middle of the street of the celestial city. What about the things that we will not have in heaven? First of all, there will be no sea. Sorry if you love sea. No light or lamp, no sun or moon. God is the light and no night because God himself and his glory will illuminate the city. They will, there will be no temple because God will be the temple. There will be no closed gates. Gates are always open. No curse, no tears, no death, no sorrow, no crying or pain will be there. And no more Satan or devils or the evil spirits. They will be thrown into the lake of fire. And there will be no people of low character. The Bible calls them dogs. And no cowards, no sorcerers, and no fornicators, no murderers, and no idolaters, and no liars. Now, word of caution. Some of us have heard or read about heaven through different sources. Books, movies, and YouTube nowadays, and personal experiences, and so on. Now, my advice to you is that you must test all those stories and testimonies against the Bible which is God's word, the final authority on this matter. It is your Christian duty to test the spirits you encounter. I always encourage you to test what you hear from the pulpit from me against the word of God, folks. Are you with me? That's your Christian duty. If the stories you hear are in agreement with the Bible, then keep them. But if not, reject them or at least hold on to them instead of just fully trusting because you don't want to establish your faith on something that is attested false against God's word. So here's the real question, whether you and I will be there or not, right? One condition, the Bible says, we must satisfy to be in the presence of God. Revelation 22, 14 says, our sins must be washed with Jesus' blood. Your sins, my sins, must be washed because God is holy. No sin is allowed in his presence. Must be washed with what? Not with our own righteousness, not with our own good deeds. No, but with Jesus' blood. That's why Jesus is so crucial, folks. Our sins only can be forgiven by God through Jesus. It is Jesus' precious blood that enters your name and mine in the book of life. He is your loving father, you are his child. He is delighted to have you in heaven forever with him.